What's going on good people and welcome back to the channel Old Black New Man. I know it's been a long time so I won't even pretend like saying oh it's been a minute. It's been many many months so uh, I appreciate anybody coming back to check us out today. But um, some mistakes have been made over the last several months and we're going to get into some product or at least one product that I've picked up that's hopefully going to fix one of the mistakes I made, uh, one of the bad decisions I made. So we're going to get into the uh, new product that we got um, right after this. As you can see, our new product is from Suicide Choppers. Um, I ordered this on October 5th, and the um, product came on November 9th, so about five weeks. That's what I've been seeing online as well. That takes about five to seven weeks. Some people about seven weeks, but mine was five weeks. And to give them a shout out, um, I ordered this on October 5th. They had like three rallies that happened in between October 5th and November 9th, and I still got my product within basically a month, you know what I'm saying? So uh, that's good on them because I know they're not a huge shop, so for them to still be working all those hours and getting all these custom products out um, and, and also doing rallies says a lot about the um, customer service and their commitment to their customers. So today is going to be the first day I'm opening this. I've been had it for a few days now, but I decided I'm going to open it live. So. If it's nothing but uh, cotton candy in here, then we're all going to find out together. So let's get everything set up and we'll start our um, unboxing. All right, just one minute. All right, as you guys can see, I already have the box open. I got it open with my uh, Harley Davidson knife that I picked up online. Pretty cool. Uh, I'll show, throw a picture in here of that. And there's a look at my Harley Davidson knife. Um, got it online. Pretty cool stuff. But you can see the Harley Davidson logo on there and HD and uh the logo on the box as well so pretty cool all right peace but uh just listen i picked up cool logo didn't cost as much as normal stuff from harley dash of cost, so i like it a little bit anyway we'll uh let you guys look in here this is my first time seeing it as well uh it's packaged very neatly and let's make sure you guys can see in the package in the box i should say and um we'll get it open and take a look what it actually is all right, we got our um, packing foam here. Nothing fancy about that. <laughs> and here's the bad boy that we actually purchased. Um, got a box here, but nothing's actually in this. Just for uh, support of the um, item that we purchased. More packing foam. All right, we're gonna throw this stuff back in here so you can take a look at the actual product. And what we purchased is. Big unveiling. Packaged pretty neatly. Everything is pretty uh, supported. Let's see if we can get this off. You know what? When I put that pressure on myself, we'll just use our knife again and get this bad boy open. If you guys can already tell, oh, this is taped up pretty good. They must don't mean for the buyer to get in. <laughs> all right, get that undone. I think that's all the tape on here. So, uh, got us a suicide chopper sticker. I may put that in my man shed. I'm not really big on stickers, definitely on my, my motorcycles. So, we got us a 22 inch sissy bar. And it is looking really good, looking beautiful, um, and looks very strong and sturdy. Even came with the rubber washing bu uh, bushings that um, Harley Davidson normally sends, so we're good there. So now what we'll do is we'll uh, talk about why we need to get this, and uh, we'll get it installed on the on the freewheeler. This is for the freewheeler, not the uh, Road King. The Road King is pretty much set up the way it's going to be set up, but. Um, let's get into the story, the back story, back, back end story behind why we even needed this. But this is beautiful. 
I think it's going to look great on the freewheeler. I don't know if I mentioned, but this is the 22-inch one. They have a, I believe, 16-inch one, but we wanted to get a little taller. My wife wanted something that wouldn't be in the small of her back. So let's get into that, and uh, let's do it. All right. Anyone following the channel uh, so far knows that the story behind the free water itself is that I bought it and wanted to have something for my wife and I to enjoy it together. I love my old bike um, and the Road King, but it's really more for me. And it's not something I want to put my wife on the back of. So I got something that I felt would be uh, safer for both of us and something we both can enjoy. So what ended up happening is once we bought it uh, in January of this year, um, we went ahead and said, hey, we're going to fix it up the way she would want to see it. So we got rims and uh, chrome stuff added on and uh, all the stuff I pretty much okayed because I was like, okay, as long as I know it's going to be safe. Like, for example, the wheels look great. They look awesome, but they're not the most comfortable things because obviously the factory wheels being thicker, more rubber, uh, I get a better ride. But like I said, it looks great. So and, um, we're not going to be taking any trips into the mountains or anything crazy like that. But if you hit a hard bump, you realize the difference between fly 21 inch rims and uh, soft 18 inch rims. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the free wheel and then we can get into what happened to make us need to purchase the beautiful sissy board that we received from Suicide uh, Choppers. All right, I want to show you all, I actually have the Harley Davidson. Now this seat pad is a uh, Amazon seat pad, but the um, sissy bar here, this is actually from Harley Davidson, Harley Davidson brand. You can see the bushing rings there. And um, this right here, this is all Harley Davidson uh, docking hardware as well. Um, what I didn't get from Harley Davidson, as you can see, this sissy bar here. So from here, if you're thinking, hey, it looks all right, but let me tell you, um, this is a cheap one I got off uh, one of the online stores. And to the, to the, um, <laughs> people's credit I will say they didn't say that it was strong it just looked like regular metal and you can see here it's not giving or anything it's not like it's soft or anything like that but what they did let me see if I can get this out with one hand actually let me get it out and uh, we'll take a look at it so as I was saying what the manufacturer did is that though this is metal strong metal and this is strong metal they didn't solder it together so they just stuck that piece in there and let me tell you um, obviously, I'm not, a, I'm not a little guy, and my wife is not tiny as it is, but neither one of us is like, um, you know, crazy where we can't move around, thing like that. After about five miles, this happened to where this started bending back to the point where I was like, uh, my wife was sitting behind me, and I kept thinking, man, she's really leaning back further than ever before. That You can see the, the bend there. And she kept leaning back, and for whatever reason, we didn't have our seniors connected at the time. So she, kept, she tapped me on the shoulder one time. I thought she was pointing at a building. Keep in mind, we're, we're just getting to downtown area from where we live uh, when this started happening. And she just kept leaning further back. She tapped me again, and I kept thinking, we have a, um, a belt that I wear. Not a belt, but it's, it's, it's called a grab and go belt, which I'm going to actually review on the channel next, um, in the next, next week most likely. Um, and I kept thinking she was reaching for the handles on my grab and go belt. And I was like, man, she's really leaning back further. I might be able to put my backrest back in because I mean, we have a lot of space in between us now. But come to hope, um, come to find out, I should say, uh, the Duran sissy ball was bending and giving away. And, man, it, it, it pissed me off, but it also kind of hurt my feelings because, you know, my wife trusts me with decisions that we make about the free wheeler and what's safe and, you know, not safe. So, like I said, this was like a hundred and some bucks it is what it is. I spent the cheap money. Uh, I've went cheap before and never had a problem, but um, what I will say and I'm going to turn the camera around to make sure you guys can really understand what I'm saying. What I will say is that if it's something that's um, a safety issue or safety item, um, go ahead and get the thing that you think is going to be the best product. You don't want to take any risk because uh, having my wife on the back of the uh, free wheel, and keep in mind, she wasn't going to fall off. We weren't doing 100 miles an hour or anything crazy like that, but she's a new rider. She's a new passenger, new pillion. So, you know, anything like that could ruin her first couple experiences, could make her not want to ride anymore. So I kind of cut me deep knowing that I made a bad decision on that. So um, while I won't say that everything I'm going to get is going to be Suicide Chopper's quality, uh, I do know that uh, that's something that I need to consider more so than not when um, when it's time to get something that's um, that's going to it's going to be a safety item like a sissy bar in this case, um, tires, you know, um, 
breaks, things of that nature. Don't don't cut corners there, I would say. And you can make those decisions on your own. But just telling you from my experience, um, going the $100 route end up, you know, could have been a bad situation. Now, the suicide chopper seat, uh, sissy bar, was 600 and something dollars. <laughs> but just from looking at it, I can already tell it's not going to be the same experience. And, uh, and like I said, I was able to call them before I purchased it. And they were like, hey, yeah, you know, a lot of people try to make what we make. But, you know, our, our um, welders are top of the line. And just from looking at the product, it's, it's a total different experience just from holding it in my hand. It's sturdy, it's heavy, and it's the kind of thing that I, I want my my significant other to be supported by. So we're gonna get this uh we're gonna get this um one that's gonna be scrap metal out of the way and we're gonna get our suicide choppers uh sissy bar on there and um like I said the next week we'll show a video of the grab and go thing I have now. Obviously the free wheeler has um grab grab with uh rails on it but like I said she's a new rider so She's more comfortable holding on to me than holding on to the freewheeler. I imagine in a few weeks she'll be she'll be comfortable enough to where she's you know just leaning back and I don't know if she's back there or she may be asleep or playing with her phone or something. Maybe not a couple of weeks, but definitely after many more rides she'll be a lot more comfortable. But um, we just want to get all the things we can to make sure that she enjoys the ride. And I just I base everything based off my own experiences. When I first started riding. Uh, it was a lot of it took a lot of long time to get comfortable i wanted to do it but um it took a lot <laughs> i remember going 50 miles per hour the first time it was like wow i'm really flying and, and i looked down and saw i was going 50 thinking oh <laughs> this is just 50. <laughs> this is not even highway speed so um i want her to have the same great experience that i have where it um you know what she gets to ride at her pace uh pick up the things she want to pick up slowly and um just uh just grow all right, as I said, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get the um, sissy bar installed. I'm thinking one needs a tutorial on installing a sissy bar. If you do, you <laughs> probably shouldn't be riding by yourself yet. <laughs> so we're gonna get that installed and uh, we'll show you the finished product and uh, we'll wrap this thing up. All right, just one second. All right, guys, we got action. This thing looks great. Um, as I mentioned before, it looks sturdy and just from shaking it, I can shake the whole bike basically with just that. So. This is going to be awesome. I'll get the missus on here and make sure she uh, likes the feel of it. Uh, the main reason we wanted to get in a, a different back rest outside of the Harley one, as I mentioned, I think early in the video, she didn't like the way the traditional Harley Davidson sissy bar sit in the middle, middle of her back. So it kind of made her feel like she leaned back, she'd be leaning over the over the top of it, which wouldn't give her support. And uh, that cheap one that we got, uh, it was taller, so it, it was it's like it was going to fit the bill. but. I didn't think about the crappy uh, craftsmanship of the product. But anywho, uh, we're back with this uh, quality sissy bar here. Um, we got to give it a test ride, so I don't want to get too ahead of myself on how great it is and all that. But uh, we're going to give it a test ride, and uh, hopefully it works out great for us because it, <laughs> it was a hard investment, let me tell you, <laughs> to spend that kind of money. But um, for her safety, it was well, well, well worth it. Safety and comfort, of course. So uh, I'm going to wrap this up. And uh, I just want to show you all the finished product. I think it looks great just with the chrome and everything. It doesn't really stand out or anything like that. So with that being said, we really, 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 and as in we, I mean G, myself, I sincerely appreciate you checking out the channel again. Uh, I know it's been a long time, but uh, we're back. We're going to try to make more consistent content again. Uh, but life happens, and uh, how to take care of life as it happens. So. Uh, making videos is like low on my priority list. So, but I do appreciate everyone that watches my videos. I want to make sure that's clear as well. So, um, we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. And like I said, stay tuned. I got a couple other products to review. And I'm going to get back into a couple of riding videos. I've been wanting to do that. I hadn't been able to ride as much as I wanted to either. Life has just really been happening. But we're, we're safe, we're healthy, so we're blessed. So, uh, with that being said, I will catch you all on the next video. So, keep your burdens light and your yoke easy. Peace.